Hey, welcome back to No High Beer Review. Today we have another beer courtesy of Brad Allison. Uh, it was part of the uh, box exchange we did. We are just saying each other a beer trade is what normal people would say. Uh, uh, so this is one of the beers he sent me. Sent me a bunch of cool local stuff I haven't had. Uh, Latitude 42 is the name of the brewery, and this is uh, IPA, uh, India Pale Ale. The A is actually EH, which I, uh, makes me think it's some sort of Canadian IPA. Not really. Uh, <laughs> 7% ABV. Uh, our award-winning India Pale Ale is packed with uh, full of juicy hops using five different hop varieties and dry hop to uh, perfection for a crisp hop flavor and tropical zest, etc., etc. Okay, you had mid IPA, <laughs> and it has such a cool can. Art. I'll show you after I pour. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to try this. So I just did another Latitude 42, and. Um, it was really refreshing because it was like a very dank beer and I haven't had a dank, like just dank IPA in a while. It was kind of nice in terms of my palate to, to have something like that and kind of uh, almost like a reminder. Um, this one is uh, also clear like the other ones. So we're looking at uh, filtered IPAs um, and I joked in the other video, you know, 16 ounce cans with filtered IPAs. What in the world? Um, such a cool can. Um, let's see, you got like a little Bigfoot hanging out back there you got like the traditional walking bigfoot way in the background you got the trees and stuff and then some leaves and uh, hops over here definitely their can art is on point um let's see you got about two and a half fingers ahead um like i showed you i mean that's what it looks like very transparent definitely looks a part of a nice uh ipa let's get into the aroma Right off the bat, this has, I'm going to inevitably compare this to the other Latitude 42 I had. This one has a better nose, without a doubt. The other one, it was it was very weak, and it was, it was hard for me to really get in there. This one, easy. Yeah, you totally get some tropical fruit notes. Uh, it is like fruit salad. Um, get a little bit of a yeast character in there. Definitely some uh, citrus, wow, sweet citrus. I haven't had a sip yet. Some sweet citrus. That smells good. All right, let's get into the taste. Cheers. Yeah, this is like, um, so this is very similar to the other one. It's a little lower ABV. But it's like you took that last one because it does have some nice dank notes in it. Definitely some pine um, sap. But it is fruitier. And I, I think that tropical zest is on point. It's very zesty. Uh, this Of the two, this one's the winner. The other one, the label art, I liked a little bit better, though. But in terms of the beer and the can, uh, this one is really good. So trying to fight through that dankness. You do get some uh, tropical fruit notes, a uh, little bit of pineapple, not overripe, a uh, little bit of mango. Slight berry note. Oh, it just says five hop fry. I have no idea what the hops are. Then definitely some citrus. Uh, I'm going to say some of the fruit and the peel and pith. So you do get some of that kind of in the aftertaste as if you had eaten pith. Um, you definitely get that taste. Yeah, this, um, the other one I liked, this one I like quite a bit, actually. This, for me, this is this is a winner. I'd, I'd want more of this. Yeah, it's tasty. Well, thanks, Brad, for sending it. Uh, like I said, this is a real winner, so it's awesome. I got to try it. Really appreciate that. Uh, everyone else, I really appreciate, appreci wow. <laughs> Not really. Uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, I am on Instagram now. Uh, uh, no hype beer reviews. Also untapped. No hype beer reviews. Obviously, in, or, uh, YouTube. No hype beer reviews. Uh, and as always, please like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.